Hello and welcome to another off-license action figure review. Steel Krypton. This is General Sod from the Man of Steel movie. Oh, label down there, but the box does have a window. We have an extra transparent chromey head. That's cool, because it does exist in the film. Alrighty then, so uh, apart from the fist already attached to the figure, we have some spray open hands, item holding hands, pointing hands, and grippy hands. We have a placement gauntlet with some with a soft blade there that's totally warped, so that needs to be uh, heated up, I guess. And we have uh, three different sod faces. We have generic expression, neutral expression, err face, and slightly more angry err face. They, these don't look too good. Looks more like e he no, uh, and the uh, skin color is not good. It's uh, very orangey. I mean, I suppose it's okay, but it it's not transparent. But it's got that transparent vibe to it. Like they didn't put a base coat of paint on it. Light is shining through it far too easily. Anyway, figure aesthetically pretty cool. It's quite simple. You got the base body that's wearing a textured Superman suit underneath. Um, oh, there's a logo underneath there, and uh, we got a wired cape that's only ink, that's wired. Let's see, one, two, three different wires on it. So back and the two sides. There's some holes cut into it, and it's attached quite well. That the wires, oh, that actually holds the whole cape up. That's really, really good. That's 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 very dramatic. That that's a really good, nicely done cape. And the rest of it is a very soft, gummy plastic. They they feel like. Mm, latex masks that you buy from Halloween shops, uh, cheaper masks that you can just plop on and it's very wobbly. It feels like that kind of plastic that they just dry brushed uh, silver on top of it. So it's pretty good. So it's pretty hard to take this head off. No. Let's see. Oh, and the cape comes off really nicely. That's I like that a lot. I want to take this armor off and see the uh, salt logo underneath. That's cool. That's really cool. Um, I suppose I can... Well, obviously there's no replacement shoes, but that's nice. I like the salt logo underneath, and there's a black body underneath there. Okay, it's a little bit hard to aim the ball peg in there, but once you do and pop it in, it stays on quite well. And these straps are not attached properly, but the armor is stiff enough that it doesn't move out of, space, out of place, and it, it's great. So articulation is, uh, this helmet obviously is going to be a bit, little bit stiff, but as we saw earlier, when we took off the armor, there's a double neck joint in there. So it does move f fair amount. I suppose if you pop this thing out, you move a bit more, but this breathing mask thing is, uh, is supposed to go in there. Uh, shoulder pads is a whole one piece thing, so body, oh. <laughs> it's not pushing against the suit. <laughs> I suppose he's not strong enough for his suit. Uh, yeah. So, okay, that, that kind of... So, it goes up so far. Rotation joint is... Does exist. Oh, double elbow. Please tell me I'm not going to have another problem with hands again. Oh, it does stay on there. Hand is on a peg. Peg and swivel. The peg, why is the peg so freaking short? Hmm. Torso does move quite well. Foot to foot off. <laughs> okay, legs go far apart. Okay, that's that's quite good. It's a stretchy material. Up, back. Oh, we get the uh, armor bits to uh, slide along the suit, which is kind of funny. And I'm gonna put a bit of glue in there later. Okay, double knee joint is quite good as well. There's rotating joint here, it moves quite well, so you can do a pretty good ride kick. Foot is on a ball peg and swivel. Okay, good. No, this, this guy is quite decent. Here he is standing next to the Figot, Man of Steel Superman, a McFarlane, Wonder Woman, uh, a Mafex Batman, Batflick, and a Mezco 112. 89 Batman and it seems like that his scale is best suited for uh, Figots is way too small, but perhaps perhaps Mafex you can sort of fudge it in and the Mezco one is a little bit bigger So maybe next to Mezco stuff. So uh, the real heads uh, Don't actually have a neck joint inside them. They just have a little hollowed hole that sort of just floats the head on top of the joint um, that's 
Why? Ugh. So, uh, figure looks great, poses quite nicely, not the best. Unfortunately, the size does fudge it just a little bit. It, mm, the uh, accessories are good enough. There could be more stuff in there if they really wanted to, but it's fine. The transparent helmet is also a nice touch that can go over the Michael Shannon head if you want to do that. And overall, this is a pretty decent figure. It's not licensed. Not sure if we will get a licensed figure of this sort, so this might be the best chance to do so. And uh, yeah, the head thing is a little bit weird. Mm. Subscribe, so just comment below, because take care, have a nice day. I'll see you guys soon. Bye bye now.